Good morning, folks. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a weekend. It is Saturday. Hope everyone's having a good one out there. 11.15 a.m. That's California time. June 14th, 2025. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a little green flag, a little 0 0.2 earthquake across California. Uh, New Madrid Seismic Zone over here seeing a little bit of activity overnight as well. A little bit of uh, quake activity outside of Memphis. A couple twos stirring up out here overnight. Uh, of course, the North American plate has been on the move out here recently. Uh, so it is expected to uh, show a little bit of activity. As uh, far as larger movement goes, uh, watching the area up here along the Curl Cam Chatka Trench. Let me bring up satellite imagery so you guys can see that major subduction zone here. Uh, yesterday's 6.1 earthquake here was a decent earthquake, the largest one so far in the last 24 hours. Uh, looks like we're getting some further earthquake activity within this same region here overnight uh, and early this morning. 4.6, a little bit further down south from that six-pointer. Also a five-pointer there along the Japan Trench. Uh, so watch this area closely. It does have some major potential to produce a large earthquake. And it's been a little while since we've seen any mega quake activity here on this subduction zone. Of course, 2011, that nine-pointer was down here across the Japan Trench. So the Kuro Camp Chatka Trench, a fairly lengthy subduction zone here that uh, is capable of producing uh, easily a nine-pointer as well. Uh, and there's many regions across this uh, subduction zone that are quite strained. So watch that area closely. Pacific Northwest, nothing showing up here across uh, Washington and Oregon for now. It is the weekend, so a lot of these smaller quakes will not be reported here on the map from the USGS until until Monday morning. That's just how it's been. Uh, Northern California, a couple smaller quakes there from, uh, looks like yesterday. Nothing new to report across this region. Same for the Bay Area. Of course, the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, that's the hydrothermal plants up there. With the ongoing earthquake activity, that's, it just never changes there. Uh, Southern California, pretty spotty down here today. A 2.5 well south of the border. Uh, really no unusual activity to note here across Southern California for now. Uh, but as always, got to watch that, right? Uh, up into the uh, Montana area in Idaho, a couple of smaller quakes. Nothing big going on. Uh, the Yellowstone overview, we'll double check this here and show you guys that uh, there's not a whole lot happening out there on Yellowstone. There's some of that quake activity from yesterday, but uh, overall, pretty quiet conditions prevailing there in Yellowstone National Park Super Volcano. Uh, up in the, uh, well, I should say down here in the oil field, still getting a lot of earthquake activity outside of Midland and over here around Pecos, Texas. Uh, normally when the oil fields are in full swing, that's a sign that the North American plate is uh, on the crunch, so to speak, in terms of pressurization. Uh, and that's the time when we see the new Madrid seismic zone tend to act up and maybe some areas across the eastern portion of the country. But for now, east looks quiet. Not a whole lot going on there uh, across that area. Uh, up in Alaska, a little bit of larger movement way up north here, 4.7. Go ahead and see what's going on up here. This is around the Fairbanks area, just outside of Fairbanks, it looks like. Striking out here 7 o'clock this morning. Little aftershock activity in the region. Um, overall, earthquakes here in the Alaska area have been somewhat elevated in the last couple weeks. Uh, no big earthquake activity. If we look at the last 30 days of 2.5 and above, you can see quite a few fours out there. Um, a couple earthquakes there along the Aleutian Trench above the 4.5 level. Uh, but really, uh, just want to watch that because things are on the increase out here well inland, well away from the plate boundaries, and that's the time to watch the plate boundaries here, the subduction zone. The Aleutian Trench there, very capable of producing mega quakes, as we all know. Let's see what else we have around the globe. The Atlantic Ocean, uh, pretty quiet. We've got one earthquake down here way south. Five pointer out in uh, one of the fracture boundaries. South Sandwich Trench, pretty quiet for now. Uh, some further activity out into the southeastern Pacific here across that Mendocino, or not Mendocino, but the triple point boundary out here where the uh, three plates are kind of interacting here. It's going to be the Nazca, the Pacific Plate, and the Antarctica Plate here right around this uh, fracture boundary. 
Got a little bit of swarming stirring up out there, it looks like. 5.7 there from yesterday. A couple other earthquakes there overnight. Down across New Zealand, some threes. Looks like threes are the magic number out there. Most of those uh, deep underneath North Island. Watch the Hikurangi subduction zone. Pretty quiet back back here across the Fiji area in the Tonga region. This is going to be our quiet zone today. I know there's one five-pointer showing up on the map. That's just about ready to drop off that 24-hour threshold. Uh, and, of course, the crunch zone. All we see in earthquake activity out there. Nothing big happening there for now. Uh, 5.4 out in the uh, fracture boundaries of the Indian Ocean here. Go look up north. Notice these uh, zigzag patterns there indicating... Oceanic crust being formed throughout time due to the um, slow separation here in these fracture boundaries of the oceanic crust. 5.4 out around the Carlsberg Ridge today. Uh, the rest of the area here, typical movement, nothing major going on. So we'll watch things, see uh, what takes place here. I know on the earthquake map, uh, the USGS map, they're not showing this. So the EMSC is reporting a decent swarm of activity. South here, around the Baja, California region, got some fours stirring up there and some threes. That's, uh, yeah, definitely, well, I believe it's striking a little bit further south. If we look on the Earthquake 3D globe here, it kind of looks like it's just right in the gulf there. Uh, so watch that. There's that 2.5, the USGS is showing but a little bit further down south here we got a swarm looks like it's starting to migrate and a lot of times we'll see that migration work its way northward here across southern california uh, watch for that today aside from that uh, middle american trench pretty active bunch of fours some movement off the coast there peru um, nothing big happening yet i mean friday the 13th Yesterday, only had one big earthquake, a 6.1. Today, a new day. Checking out space weather activity, waiting on, well, I think we've already seen the arrival of the high-speed solar wind stream. Let's go check that out real quick. Bring up the real-time solar wind stream here from the Space Weather Prediction Center. Yesterday, had that uh, BZ component there pointing south, wide open. Allowing some roars to kick up, but that closed up rather quickly last night. Uh, and it looks like it remains suppressed there. Even though we've got the speed elevated there, there's our um, high speed solar wind stream up around 500, maybe close to 550. Not a big deal. Um, but with the BZ component here, well, just right now south here of this line, uh, but it's not wide open here. If you want to see the auroras, uh, amplify this here needs to be wide open like we seen yesterday down here southward point southward tilt I should say uh, so not a whole lot going on there for the auroras right now even though we got the high-speed solar wind stream coming in so unless that BZ component there changes it will continue to remain suppressed uh, detailed forecast out there looks like a G2 class storm but that's only if things cooperate right now they are not cooperating so just have to watch that. Look for after darks. Watch the real-time solar wind stream. If this goes well south here, opens up, then that will mean that uh, the auroras will be likely tonight. But right now, not looking likely. Flaring activity. Let's take a look at some of these sunspots out here. See you later. Uh, this massive sunspot here, just about ready to drift off the western limb there. And we're left with a couple regional sunspot groups out here. More focus on this region right here. We're starting to see some complexity within sunspot number 41. Uh, it's going to be 4114 there. Looks, uh, looks like it's grown complex overnight. And that's what you want if you uh, want to see some solar flares. There's magnetic arches there. And uh, an area to watch. I know we're flaring down here with the sea flare activity, it looks like. Almost an M flare. Uh, that's from departing sunspot 41. Zero 05. Uh, that, again, is just about ready to crest out there on the western limb. And we'll be out of sight, out of mind. We'll see it back out here in a couple weeks as these sunspots, the majority of them, you know, a lot of them really never disappear. 
Uh, they go around, they come back, they go around, and, and who knows how many times this sunspot has come back around. Eventually, they fade away and look something like this. Um, but we'll see it again in a couple weeks. I, I, I can't keep track of the names here in the sunspots because they're you know, always getting newly named numbers here, but it's the same old sunspots that come around. All right, uh, so flare threat right now, 5% chance for X-flare, M-flare at 40, C-flare around 95% chance or so. Watch for the auroras if conditions are favorable. As far as any close approach asteroids go, a lot going on in the world out here. That's all we need is a big, super large asteroid heading to the planet. There's a big one right here, 530-foot building size asteroid. Been monitored there since 2000, the year 2000. Uh, that's coming in in a couple days, but 4,500,000 miles away. That's pretty safe, but that is a giant one. We do not want anything like that uh, coming into the planet. Severe weather outlook for today. Well, got a uh, slight risk across areas that had some severe weather yesterday up around Montana, Wyoming. The Dakotas um, down into Nebraska, it looks like. Looks like a little 2% chance for some tornado activity there in the green as well. That includes around the OKC area of Oklahoma. Wind and the main threat today looks to be some large damaging hail up in Montana and portions of Wyoming. So watch for that uh, severe weather potential. Tomorrow, roughly about the same as well. I mean, this is just kind of sitting up there across the northern plains. Um... A lot of thunderstorms there in the forecast today. Nothing in, along the west coast. Pretty quiet out here. Just, I don't see anything changing. Uh, I do know we have some heat building up out here across the states. Uh, we check out the um, temperature anomaly map. Well, got uh, high pressure building in there. It looks like over the uh, western area of Texas or uh, western area of the states uh, for a few days. And then we get a little cool down here. It looks like towards next weekend there got some below average temperatures which is fine by me uh, that heat is going to build over across the uh well we're, we're they getting the thunderstorms right now over across the dakotas and uh that area looks like maybe 20 degrees above average for those folks and uh just it's a mixed bag of weather out here I, i'd rather have it mixing up with some uh you know periodically cooler temperatures here for the west coast because we have been uh, we've been all right i mean we've been cooking a little bit uh but we get these little cool spells and i appreciate those uh cool downs quite a bit there i don't like it when it's above 100 um every single day which has happened a lot in the summertime out here in california as uh, far as any major fires go out here across the california region um uh, Still got this Miller fires, 20% containment up there deep into the mountains of Northern California. Looks like they're getting a handle on that slowly but surely. Uh, Southern California, nothing big showing up here on the map. That is uh, definitely some good news. They're getting a handle there on the Dogs Fire. 4,000 acres up there. Uh, up in Oregon and Washington, still big, big fires up there across this area. The Ferry Fire, 10,000 acres. 43% uh, containment. Got the Rowena fire up here along the uh, Columbia. Uh, that was another big one. Uh, this one's at uh, just under 4,000 acres. 5% containment. Starting to head over towards this town area. I don't see any hot spot um, fire signatures on there, but it doesn't mean there isn't any. A lot of times um, they just won't show up on there. But either way, quite a few fires out here. And we're just getting going. California, as I said, it, we've had a few spark up, but nothing has taken off like crazy. There are some prescribed burns out here, which is good. That will help limit uh, any uh, uh, future starts there, as long as you get a handle on some of that uh, dry brush and whatnot. Pending it's not windy out here, which is not. So a lot of smoke here in the valley because of the controlled burning going on so air quality not all that great out here in northern california uh one earthquake up in washington right now i'm surprised they're reporting that a little 1.5 all right outside of mount st helens it looks like a distance down here though about 20 miles or so 30 miles 
but for now, nothing big going on. Watch for the the uh, swarming that's going on here across the Gulf of California down here. That could work its way northward. Wow, that was a big plane that just flew over. Pretty big plane and quite low as well. I like to use the, uh, it's called Flight Aware. That uh, is a, a decent app to use. Oh man, I'm not even seeing it on the map here, so I wonder if that was military. Interesting, all right. Anyway, I'm out of here, folks. Enjoy your weekend. I don't really have a lot planned here this weekend. Just going to take it easy on the home front. And uh, I don't know, maybe jump in the pool. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on for the Saturday night update. Take care and uh, enjoy.